it's your girl. I had to pick uh, pick y'all up, call y'all back. Look at this shit. It's shit. I have to walk in this. Granted, I'm only going up the street. That's still too fucking much. So, I'm gonna go to class, charge my second phone, because I left my second phone here. I missed it so much. It's dead as fuck, of course. Um, the roads are horrible, so. If y'all hearing this mess on this good Wednesday, bitch, be safe, be careful, because it's fun and left and right. Um, just got back to my apartment, dirty as fuck per usual. Um, I put some baby wipes in my bag because I forgot my baby wipes, put my ice cream away. I would have been so sick if I had let my ice cream sandwiches sit in my in that bag that I had them in. I almost fucking forgot about them. And not to mention I put the heat on because I don't understand why I'm walking in my apartment at 68 degrees, bitch, it's cold outside. Hello? That's why niggas is getting sick. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna head to class. I look a mess, I don't really care, whatever. But I see y'all hoes. Yeah. Fucking ring. I gotta walk in this. And yes, you already know, bitch, I have Crocs, so I don't give a fuck. I don't have. I don't got shoes, ho. Like, what the fuck? I'm going to Barnes and Noble to get me an umbrella. I can't. This shit's crazy. Like, and not to mention, oh my gosh, my apartment is so dirty. Y'all, I could really choke the fuck out of one of them. Like, why does my apartment look like this every time I come back here? Like, oh my God. I made it to class, but my teacher is dead ass wrong for not canceling class. There's no reason why this class is at the end of my street and i'm drenched and i'm coming from down the street so just imagine motherfuckers that don't even live down the street and have to travel to come to this damn class like class should have been canceled today we i would have been perfectly fine being on zoom i changed my socks for the second time my fucking socks are wet my pants are wet my sweatpants are wet my jacket soaked book bag soaked not to mention my book bag was open a little bit and guess what was in that pocket that was open my ipad <laughs> thank god my ipad is fine it's working i'm literally listening to law order in my ears right now it's fine i'm just decompressing this is gonna be a long night possibly and i'm not in the fucking mood not at all it's literally god literally opened the floodgates of heaven outside and i'm not in my apartment fine we're gonna get through tonight just as soon as i go home i have to hop my ass in the shower because can't sit and relax and decompress because my clothes are wet so i'll see y'all hey y'all it's fucking raining it's drizzling i don't got my coat zipped up bitch i'm just trying to get the fuck home but class was great i did go in my speech i wasn't the only one that had to deliver a speech which is good and since it fucking rained the fuck out, um, my whole class wasn't there for my speech, yay! So it wasn't too bad. Um, definitely lost my train of thought. Thoughts was all over the place. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how, was it, how it is tonight. So I was gonna go to the gym, as you clearly saw, I walked right past that bitch, cause bitch, I'm cold, hungry, and I wanna get warm. I really, really wish I was not on a 30 day tea break because bitch, I would be behind me right now as we speak. And I'm really trying not to give into temptation because it only has been a week since I last smoked and I'm not a crackhead or fiend and I can do 30 days. So, um, and when I say tea break, I mean from weed. Um, I don't really, I could do hookah, but it's like, eh, hookah just don't do it for me. Like, unless I'm outside of the club, they don't do it for me. So, I'll see y'all hoes. Hey, y'all. I got my hair down today, because, bitch, I got a headache. But, happy motherfucking Thursday. Um, very fucking usual. Bitch, it looks like it's going to start raining. I'm so sick of the fucking rain. Like, I can't stand the rain, actually. New edition asses, but who can stand it? No, I can't. I fucking can't. I hate it. It's annoying. 
I'm all, I was already sick. I sound it now. <sighs> Anyways, um, I was fighting for my life this morning because I was up um, for the second night in a row till four in the morning uploading this vlog for y'all. And I'm so hyped because I finally found non-copyrighted music of actual music artists that I can use that did not get copyrighted. So I'm super fucking stoked about that. I am oh, so grateful. Shout out to my girl, CN. She snapped. Love you down, girl. And make sure y'all watch my friend YouTube channel. I'll put her shit down below. Um, I'm taking my black ass to class because only I would still have class. Um, whatever. <laughs> so, um, after class, since I was fighting for my life this morning and could not get the fuck up, I'm going to come back home from class, wash clothes. Um, I need to go to the store to put money on my card because I don't carry cash. Um, I also need to, there's something else I need to do. We'll figure it the fuck out. My skin look good for now. Um, cause it's catfishing y'all, but happy fucking Thursday, bitch. Um, it's not raining, so I need to find something to eat on this campus quick and fast because I gotta hike it today. Thank God today's one of those days I can take the shuttle, take my ass home, but that's how it happened last time. My ass took the goddamn shuttle home the whole time. My ass had COVID, but I got my mask though cause I'm not fucking around. But for right now, we finna just vibe out and gym so i'll see y'all i don't know if y'all know or not they got alumni girl to fuck up out of here and this is the new spot they put in replace of it which is so crazy because it's just like where the fuck am i gonna be able to get a bag a big ass bag of fries for three dollars at when i don't feel like eating nothing else like oh we gonna see what's tito i'll try it and review it and it better not waste my fucking time because everything over on campus food wise be wasting my fucking time so but i'll see y'all hoes later i gotta go to class <laughs> the fuck i am trying to be all studious thinking oh you know we got class today i'm gonna work on my paper shit's gonna be cool it's gonna be sweet come to find out there's no fucking class i emailed my teacher i said miss ma'am is there class today She's like, no, there's no class today. It was on Canvas. No, the fuck it wasn't. Do you think I would have missed an email stating that class was canceled? Uh, oh. Bitch, you know what? It's okay. It's, it's okay. What Miguel say, it's all right. Just breathe. It's fine. It's fucking fine. Hold on. Graphics committee. Hold on. It's given I'll be joining graphic design club, but bitch. Hold the hell on. And bitch, would you look at that? The motherfucking show is here. I'm taking my black ass back the fuck home. Cause my teacher got me fucked up. But I'ma see y'all um, when I come back from the store. Um, happy Friday. Why the fuck are we outside? You hear this fucking noise? Bitch, it's a fire alarm, a building fire alarm, no less, that woke us all up. I'm out here looking like alfalfa. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> I was woken up. My apartment is dirty as hell. I'm just tired, bro. I'm ready to go home. Home, home. <laughs> this shit's for the birds. Then I got lab today. That's really my 13th reason. Because why the fuck I got lab today and everybody else and their mama is home? Like, this is insane. But I'm telling you, as soon as, as soon as lab is done, I'm walking my ass as fast as I can back here and getting the fuck. Because this shit's nuts, for real. Oh, kept out my sleep. I'm thinking I'm dreaming. And I know it wasn't me because I ain't, I'm, I've been sober for a good almost nine days now. What the fuck's going on? Here? And we standing outside and shit. And I'm finna order breakfast. Fuck you talking about? I'm hungry. But I'll see y'all, man. This shit's crazy. Good morning, y'all. Um, 
I'm tired, but I'm not tired. Um, that building fire alarm this morning really pissed me off. And then the fact that it took like the fire department maybe 25 fucking minutes to come turn that shit off. Like you have got to be kidding me. What the fuck was y'all boys in there doing this early? Clearly not fucking y'all jobs because ain't no reason why y'all asses wasn't slide down that pole and get on that, get on that goddamn truck to come turn this bullshit off. Anyways, um, grabbing my breakfast. So after that, I got lab and I'm taking my black ass home. Um, I said what I said in my group chat because my roommates are being trifling. Like, it's no reason why you're a grown ass man and you got pubes every fucking wearing the shower. Like, come on, bro. Who the fuck is cleaning that? It's bad enough I have to come back during my spring break to spring clean because my apartment is fucking trifling and no one else is literally going to clean or help. Um, other than my mom and them, of course. But like, the shit's firing me for real. Um, then I saw my friend. I have not seen her literally since a week ago because I was sick. Um, she brought me medicine and ginger ale, which I was so grateful for. And then she tells me her dad died out of nowhere. And I was just like, friend, what the fuck? Like, and then she said it so casually. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then they left the fucking... So when we come back from break, um, cause she's literally burying her father uh, before we come back, I'm going to come back from campus, like from break, and I'm gonna drop roses off to her. Um, my fucking DoorDash driver spins the block because he doesn't see me outside. Bitch, I was right behind you. Like, I need y'all to pay the fuck attention. I'm on a time, a strict time schedule right now because it took them fucking forever to turn off that fucking alarm, which cut into my breakfast time. And I gotta be in class by 11 o'clock. Like, come the fuck on. Jesus Christ. Um, but I'm finna eat, take my ass to class, one time, and then I'll see y'all when I come back home because I gotta pack the rest of my shit up, make sure that my trash is thrown out because I'm not doing, no. Do it your fucking self. Like, they're getting on my fucking nerves and I'm this close to making a fucking TikTok for them being so fucking raggedy. Like, I'm sick of this shit, for real. But I'll see y'all. I didn't eat. Got myself to looking presentable. Um, packed up my lab coat with my shoes. <sighs> Calling it a fucking day. Bitch, I'm tired. Um, I'm tired. Um, after class, I already told y'all I'm going home. But I'm probably gonna stop at Barnes & Noble. Hopefully they got orange juice because I want some other orange juice like right now. Orange juice in the water. Um, cause I'm thirsty. I didn't order anything to drink for my breakfast. Why well, I should have. Um, and I could have got water for free if my water was in my fridge, but I don't trust that niggas won't drink my shit, especially with nothing barely being in the fridge now. So, um, more water for me when I come back from break. So, yeah, I'll see y'all. Not looking, mommy. What is it doing? It's not doing nothing. Stop licking me. Stop it. Hey y'all, so I'm back home and thank God um, God was on my side today because our Uber driver happens to be somebody that grew up in the neighborhood that we currently live in and him and my mom just get to talking and just rekindling a whole bunch of shit. And I'm just like, child, he's sweet though. Um, he... He seems to miss all that stuff. But I'm at Walmart, bitch, because they never got the shit that I want. But yeah, bitch, I'm at Walmart because I need new draw. These sets are cute. I'm telling you, Walmart, watch out, ho, because when I tell you my ass gonna be in here shopping for motherfucking uh, fitness sets, ho, I am. They shit's hella cute. I need some cute workout gear, but today's not the day for that. We need some draws. So I'll catch y'all hoes later because we on a time crunch. So bye. Dice que cuando uno baja mucho de peso, la grasa que bota se acumula en algún lugar. El problema es que ahora siento que mi cuerpo se balancea. I was never, you know, really so conscious about it until people started. Hi, baby. Asked me, oh, you got cancer. Oh, did you break your shoulder? We were at church. A woman came up to me. She said, oh, hi, what's your name? I'm like, oh, what are you doing? 
personal space. Thank you. You are. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. Hey y'all, I know I look rough. Please mind my business. Um, we're at Walmart. Me and my grandma and in Dior because I have to get a hard drive for my computer that I just bought and uh, some other stuff. So, I will see y'all when we get up in there. I'm in literal tears because I've been laughing at this fucking TikTok. Oh my gosh. I am so fucking funny. I should not be fucking crying like this over a TikTok at 1.54 in the morning and they want to be in TikTok. We have bigger fucking fish to fry. Like, y'all can't be serious for real. This is what TikTok does to me in the middle of the night. Y'all want to get rid of it? My joys, peace, and happiness? Are you joking? Fuck off. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic-tac-toe. A winner. These are the jackasses determining our futures. That alone is a reason not to vote for her or any of her ilk. Tic-tac-toe? Do you think... <laughs> they really they really do. See, here's the thing about Democrats that I don't think people realize in the way that they communicate. They try to communicate in sound bites for TikTok. They're trying to communicate in sound bites for TikTok. As they're attempting to ban the app or to get by dance to sell. And they think, oh my God, we're going to be so cool. And notice how I squarely put this on Democrats. Because they're the jackasses in an election year in which their foothold over the youth vote is very tenuous at the moment. They're the ones going, yeah, this will win them over. Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> The TikTok ban is crazy because they're talking about, oh, China's taking our data, China's taking our data. But the thing is, is most of us have unlimited data anyway. Hey, y'all. So it's been like a couple days since I last picked up my camera. The last time I had picked my camera up, I forget what the hell I was doing. But um, before I picked the camera up the last time, I was trying to, well, I should have vlogged the fact that I went to Walmart and I finally got myself a computer. Um, I am entering my era of getting my skills up, but also um, I have school for like the next six weeks and basically it's six weeks until the semester ends and I got to finish it out with a bang. Me going to the library is just not my thing and it's not that I have anything against my library back at on camp. I love my library on camp. But, bitch, it's, it's too inconvenient for me to be going out my way to go to the library and get shit done. And my iPad, she's been doing her thing for the past year, but I need a desktop um, until I can get my Mac fixed. So, I'll show y'all my baby Ray Ruby the sleeves. This is the HP laptop that I bought. And I got a little, like, some stains on it. I need to figure out how to clean it and... um get me a case for it because i don't want her to get all scratched up and shit in my book bag so i think that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna order me one but everything that i'm finna show y'all in this um in this haul that i'm about to do is gonna be linked down below in the description box excuse the fan blasting ho um it's 75 is it 75 we finna see hold on it is it's 76, girl. 76 degrees. It's hot as fuck. Um, I have to have my fan in the window um, until we put my air conditioner back in, which, not going to lie, it needs to be ASAP because it's. I'm not dealing with this hot-ass weather when I come home. Bitch, my air conditioner better be in my window. That's all I know. But anyways, I wanted to end this vlog off by doing a little haul and just talking to y'all about like the past couple days and um, shit like that. Uh, I've been on spring break for the past week, hence why y'all have noticed me being more at home. Um, I didn't feel the need to stay at my apartment, even though I do need to go and get that deep cleaned. But 
that's neither here nor there girl so first things first before i even grab these i got this new moo moo super super cute i will stand up i don't feel like it and your girl finally washed her damn hair because i neglected my hair i'm gonna put somewhere on the screen a video and a picture of all the hair that came out of my head because my hair has literally been matted up in this raggedy dry bun and i know better but now she's she's doing good i literally put some aunt jackie's leave-in conditioner in and um my mom's gonna give me some straight backs so my hair don't get dry and i can just focus on my scalp for the next really till i get my hair done next week but anyways i got this moo moo from walmart um it's from joy spun i love that brand joy spun in walmart if y'all see this reach out to your girl which is so crazy because i'm a walmart creator so i need to figure out how i can tag this and get my money on but yeah um and you know i bought more so um one thing about me i love a good moo moo bitch like moo moos do it okay and yeah so i got this moo moo it says vacation vibes uh super super cute um i have two moo moos already on top of the two other ones that i got um maybe in the next vlog i'll show you the two other ones because the other ones that i got recently are dirty so i don't want to i might put pictures of them somewhere here on the screen um but yeah i'm trying to replace the two that i've had for the longest because i've had them forever and it's just time for some new pajamas and i decided to treat myself because i just feel like i've been working so hard when it comes to school you know getting my shit together and really just figuring out what it is that i want to do what i'm really good at and I haven't been doing shit. I've been in the house. I was sick last week with COVID, so I decided to treat myself. So here's the next one. Super, super cute. And yes, all my moomoo's got pockets. And girl, you need to go to Walmart and get you your moomoo's because, bitch, they're on sale for $7.98 a moomoo. So if I were you, I'd go get me some because you could never have too many moomoo's. You could never have too many moomoo's. Um... Also, summer is not that far from us. And with it being hot outside, bitch, today is the perfect day to be wearing one of these or a pair of these. Uh, <laughs> I got me two pairs of flip-flops for a dollar. And I know Walmart be having the flip-flops for a dollar. Um, I got them in blue and black, which is perfect. Um, I only sized up, even though I wear a size 10. I got 11, 12, and 9, 10, which is my size. I only got 11, 12 in a black because they didn't have a 9, 10 in black and I need a black pair of flip-flops. You could just never go wrong with having flip-flops and I'm not going to lie to you, bitch, my feet going to be out all motherfucking summer. So there's that. Can't be musty. Um, I was running low on degrees, so we had got another degree deodorant. This is the black and white anti-yellow marks and stains. Uh, dry spray. Uh, it has 70, 72 hour um hold as antiperspirant deodorant from degree um and it smells like pure rain and it dries ultra clear i love this i stand by this this is perfect for my girlies that sweat a fucking lot or sweat heavily listen this your body will thank you if you use this i'm telling you it changed my life i love spray on deodorant you can never go wrong with a spray on deodorant <laughs> like you just you just can't next up i got me some grand tongue scrapers i just like these because i feel like your typical tongue scraper um they're i don't know it's just unsanitary to me so i wanted to pick these up because i seen that these were going viral and i wanted to see what was tea so i'll let you guys know how i like these um over the course of the next few days i went ahead and got me some some big extra comfort consistent fluid writing soft grip uh round stick pens pens pencils i'm gonna say pencils pens your girl is a pen whore i love pens i felt like i didn't have any i have every pen from rowan under the sun but i just wanted a consistent nice little black pen you can never go wrong with big i love big um next thing i got i got this big ass cerave sarav however you pronounce it uh renewing essay cleanser for normal skin i abide by this i've been literally using this for years now they need to sponsor me at this point um and of course you know i got the um 
the regular daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. These two together, Chef's Kiss. Typically, I would have got the exfoliating moisturizer that matches this, but they didn't have it in store. And I still needed a moisturizer because my face was so dry. So that's what we've been using. And I don't know if you can tell the skin she's giving. Still got some hyperpigmentation, dark spots, but overall the acne is nowhere to be found because we thank CeraVe. Okay, I stand by CeraVe. I love CeraVe. Um, I do want to try La Roche Pousset. Let me know down below in the description, in the comments, if y'all have tried it and if y'all like it, and what products I should grab because I'm gonna try something new. Um, the summertime's coming. I got me some erasers for my pencils that I bought. Um, and also for this promo that I'm going to be doing, I will show y'all, y'all probably see it in the next video, but I'm super, I love these. Like I, <laughs> I'm such a nerd and geek when it comes to school supplies. Like, and you would think like, bitch, why are you getting all this in school for the BI? I don't give a damn. I'm going to be using this shit all motherfucking summer. You hear me? These are my favorite freaking wipes. Y'all know I don't play when it comes to these. These are the Equate Beauty Rose Water Cleansing Tablets. I always use these when I wake up to get the crust out of my eyes and just to get all that grease, gunk, and sweat off me. Um, and I also use it right before I go to bed to wash my face too because again, you've been sweating all day and I just like to give my pores a nice refreshing, you know, I like to refresh my skin. So, and even when it's hot during the day, I like to grab one of these sometimes and just clean my face um, because you know, your, your, your face creates oil and all that and it gets trapped within the layers of your skin that's how acne gets formed and all that craziness um i have uh i bought a brand new pack of this but it's behind me on my tear shelf but i didn't feel like grabbing it so it still serves the purpose uh, i was running low and even though i still have like a fairly fairly decent amount of these i just still grab me some to read up because i hate when i run out of these these are really the holy grail really probably why my ass is glowing just a little bit so yeah i'm happy i got these or more of those because girl i also got me my paper mate number two pencils they're mechanical pencils i've always loved mechanical pencils i can't tell you the last time i bought a mechanical pencil but there are also just instances sometimes where in class i'll need a pencil or a pen i just never had it and i get i got tired of asking people for it or just not having it because it's just like why don't you at least have that you know um, and that shit is cheap as fuck. So I decided to invest in myself and got my own shit because I'm going to need it for when I come back home too. I mean, it's not going to be just for school for the next six weeks, but it'll make me being more successful in school for the next six weeks a lot easier. Let me see. What the fuck is leaking in here? I don't... Something in here leaking. I don't freaking know, girl. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. Hold on. Is there anything in this bag? No. There's another bag. I had another bag of stuff. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Something did really leak. NyQuil leaked, and it got on my fucking bed and my sheets. I gotta wash my sheets anyway, so I'm off with them bitches. But here's the box um, that my laptop came in. I got a 15.6 inch scarlet red um, laptop and I'm so happy that I got it. Like I literally was debating on whether I wanted to get it or not because I have to get my hair done for this promo. Um, and then uh, we're doing something for my cousin's birthday next week. So I was like, damn, like I really, really need a laptop. Like I'm learning graphic design, which I'll get into in the next video, which will be the major life update. The moment that y'all all have been waiting for, because I know y'all been waiting for me to tell my business. Um, I'm just kidding. I know y'all want to know where the fuck I've been and why I'm just now posting on YouTube in March. And I'm going to tell y'all. So I can't wait to do that. I might fuck around and film it in this. So if you see me wearing this moo in the next video, bitch, mind your business. Um, my hair is drying a little bit. Uh, and I can't wait to get my little scrape backs so my mom can braid my hair. Because when I tell y'all my scalp was on fire, like I was just looking rough, hair looking crazy. But it just feels so nice to just spoil myself again and get what it is that I want and need to be successful. Because y'all already know one thing about it. If I need it, I'm going to get it. And if I want it, I got it. Simple. And it's just so funny because my mom was like, you got money for a laptop? And in my head, I'm like, yes, girl, I got money to get a laptop. Like, And I was going to wait 
I really, really was going to wait, but I was like, nah, I don't want to wait. I want to get it now. I don't know why my light got bright all of a sudden or why. Mm -hmm. But I got the light off. And the only light I got on is my my filming light. But I don't know why it just got bright in here all of a sudden. I don't mind it, though. Um, Look at my beautiful gray bed. Ugh, love it. But yeah, girl, like, I've just been relaxing, trying to get shit situated with school. Um, getting these grades up. Uh, planning for the summer because I do plan on taking summer classes, but bitch, they're gonna be online. We go collect that refund and call it a day, okay? Um, so I'm super, super excited about that. Um, and like I said, just getting a laptop just really, really made my life a thousand times easier. Like, I feel like we don't realize how often we take little things like that for granted. Like, just simply having a desktop laptop that I can do everything and be successful on without having to worry about compromising my time or going out my way or doing anything is just so nice. And I'm just so happy that I was able to do that for myself. Um, it was something that I needed. I stayed within my budget. Um, I didn't go over budget, which was a good thing. Um, I probably did with the rest of the stuff that I bought, but essentially the stuff that I really needed was everything that I showed y'all in this haul. Minus the moo's, I really didn't need them, but I feel like when you have fresh, clean, new pajamas, it just makes you, it just makes me feel good. And I find getting moo moos a hobby at this fucking point. And they're cheap. What the fuck? Like, you know? So there's that. What else? Um, the girl has been sober for two weeks. I have not smoked any weed of any kind. Um, next week makes it. Uh, 21 days now unfortunately because um i will be partying next weekend finally uh for my little cousin's birthday um i will be smoking i will be drinking um but i could at least say by that point i made it to at least 25 days so i'm short five days of my goal that i had um which isn't too bad i'm just happy that i followed through with it um my mind has been clear i've been way more productive and y'all should have smacked the hell out of me because why am I just now like doing to-do lists? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a stranger to to-do lists. I've done them before. I just don't think I've followed through with them as much before. But today, girl, or for the past couple days, I've literally made a to-do list every night before I would go to sleep. And in the morning, I would be up super early and I would literally just be knocking shit out left and right. Um, so I'm so proud of myself for that because I've definitely been increasing my productivity, being home, um, you know, doing my work and things like that. And I'm just, I'm just happy y'all. I'm really, really happy. And I'm just proud that I got what the fuck I wanted. I could shut up now until I get my MacBook fix, which that'll be the next thing, which I'm super excited about. Um, cause I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm trying to collect everything like infinity stones. Like I want to get another MacBook, but at the same time, I would rather just get the one I got fixed or, um, get a desktop um computer for my room i feel like that will also help me uh with the work that i'm trying to do decisions decisions i really just want to redo my whole room in general that's really my goal for the next couple of months to redo my whole room i'm going to keep the paint the same i may touch the paint up in certain areas i'm not really too much of a stickler on it but i feel like i can touch it up i just got to remember or find the exact color i used um because that's another reason why i'm not so really hell bent on um, or concerned with changing the wall color. Um, but I definitely need some new supplies for my desk. Like I want a trash can. I need a, first of all, I need a trash can in here. I need a trash can. I need a new mat. Um, I need like an iPad stand. Uh, so when I don't want to use the stand that I have for my, um, iPad, I can just have a stand designated for that. Um, I need a desk cleaner, like the little robot that rolls around your desk and cleans up everything. I need that. Um, just a whole bunch of shit that I need. Um, I want to get a TV back in here. I'm tired of using my fucking iPad as a damn TV. I don't know if I, I remember telling y'all or if y'all remember, but my TV literally broke, I want to say maybe a year or two now ago. Uh, I really feel like it's been like a year. No, it's been two. It's been two. Um... Has it? Yeah, it's probably been two years. I was literally watching Organized Crime when my dad, when my dresser was right here behind the camera. And, bitch, my TV just went black. Like, it would play the show, but I physically could not see it. And we literally went to Walmart the other day when I went to get my laptop with my grandma. 
and the 50 inch the 50 inch tvs right now the 50 inch roku tvs are two something like 286 so i told them if y'all don't give me nothing else for easter if it's not a moo moo or whatever some money on a easter basket give me a tv please give me a tv i i need the vibes in here i want to watch tv i want to listen to music like once i get my gaming system i want to be able to plug that bitch up and use it like we we need we need more shit in here so i really want to just get the vibe of the control in here figure it out what it is that i want and i really gotta do like a deep clean in this room too like i gotta sell what i don't want to use or just throw it out or give it away something like my space has really been a mess since i went back to school i can't tell you the last time my room was actually organized nice and clean it's messy clean like i know where everything is but to everybody else they don't so like me looking at it now it's just like yeah bitch you need to clean this hoe it's not bad but it could be better and yeah i also started to pick up on reading too and i went to my public library got a new library card that i haven't had since like 2016 and i picked up this book from colleen hoover called never never and it's it seems like it's a good book so far um, I wanted to get it starts with us but it was taken and they called me today and told me that or no they called me yesterday and told me that it was available for me to go pick up so it's given I might put this back to go read that but at the same time I feel like bitch you might as well just keep this you know so um, we're gonna see because it's literally due in like two weeks can I read this in two weeks on top of reading Viola Davis's uh, Finding Me? I fucking doubt it. But we'll see. We're going to try. I'm really just tapping into a lot of things that I love, that I used to love. And I don't know. Reading is just, you can never go wrong with reading. Like, I literally started reading Viola Davis's Finding Me, even though I should have been done reading that. Um, <laughs> and I literally was writing down, like, vocabulary words that I did not know because it's like, one thing about me, I'm a smart bitch, okay? I have no problem wanting to increase my vocabulary, my verbiage, my usage of words. And when I don't know something, I look, I'm quick to look it up, okay? Google's my best motherfucking friend for a reason. Um, so there is that. I'm super, super excited. Like, I don't know, y'all. I'm just in a very, very happy and positive space. Um, y'all can finally see how I am in real time. Um, I know, like I said, the first two vlogs that y'all saw were all footage from December on to now which is March and now y'all are seeing me in March in real time so it's refreshing to see thank y'all so much for all the love and support that y'all have been giving me um in the past couple videos that I have dropped I love y'all down um I'm just happy to be back like I'm just happy to be back in my element doing what it is that I, that I fucking love and it's only up from here bitch I just gotta keep being consistent so um yeah I also <clears throat> told y'all in my last vlog about Trova Trip Trova Trip wants to sponsor me on a trip and we're going out the country this summer um I want to meet my subscribers I want to meet my big tiktok community i want to meet the girls outside so in order for us to go outside in order for me to plan uh this trip with trova trip i need 50 responses and the responses that count which are surveys that you have to fill out which only take two minutes the surveys that you got to fill out i need you to make sure that you're 18 years or older and you have a, a budget a travel budget with at least two thousand dollars to count in order for me to hit those 50 responses so we can start curating the trip. So if you're 18 years or older and you have a travel budget of at least 2K, fill that survey out down below in the description box and let's get to it. I'm trying to be outside. I want to do so much stuff with y'all. I want to figure out, since I have creative control over this trip, how to incorporate maybe content creation, like something fun, something cute. I just want to be outside. I want to make memories. I want to make money. I want to just get out there and I feel like I can't get out there if I'm not out there and I'm 25 now like there's no reason why I'm not traveling right now um I've always I'm always doing school 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 work 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 let's put that aside for the summer and be outside and also I want to meet the people that have been supporting me all this time because again without no me without y'all there is no me so again if you have a travel budget of two thousand dollars and you're 18 years and up 
fill out that survey down below in the description box please the quicker we can get to 50 responses the quicker i can plan and curate this trip give y'all the details y'all can start paying and we can get it popping because i'm about to get my passport within like the next month or so so that gives depending on when the trip is probably being planned which will probably be like the end of summer if not midsummer that gives you plenty of time to get your money up your outfits your hair done maintenance all that good shit because i know i gotta do the same i gotta get my hair done i gotta get the fits i gotta get all that shit together so please 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 do your girl a favor and fill out that survey down below in the description box 18 years or older with at least a travel budget of 2k because those are the responses that they are counting and i cannot wait to get to 50 uh responses so i can go ahead with my advisor plan this trip out get the details out to y'all and we can get it popping out of the country it's given so far that we're going to bali which i'm kind of excited about because i've always wanted to go to bali i've never been to bali um and i just want to experience different things and going out of the country for the first time i've just it's something i've never done so i cannot wait please 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 like i said fill that survey out let's be outside together let's have a ball let's just let's just live it up bitch we young and her out here i ain't got no kids i'm just a college student that's doing a whole bunch of shit okay and we need to be out the country this summer because it's giving it's gonna be one of them summers that's gonna be hot as shit so let's just get it done let's just let's just go ahead and get up out of there okay so that is it um i love 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 y'all down i love y'all so much like y'all just don't know how much y'all mean to me i promise you you don't um let's get to 3,000 subs like i feel like i've been in 2600s for years and i have nobody to blame but me but um i really would love to get the get to 3,000 subscribers. Once we get to 3,000 subs, I will be doing a giveaway. Once I hit 4,000 followers on TikTok, I will be doing a giveaway. So when I'm on TikTok, I'm at like 391,000 followers. So I need 9K, okay? Let's run these numbers up. Let's, let's do your girl a favor. Y'all know I got all my social media linked down below. Everything that you need to know from the haul will be linked down below as well. So you can grab you some self-care stuff because baby, it's the summertime, damn near. We outside. We got to get the routines up. We got to change the routines. We got to tweak them a little bit. We just got to take care of ourselves. So make sure you grab whatever it is that I link down below because I'm telling you it's going to be a life changer. And CeraVe, V, if you don't get nothing else, get the CeraVe V moisturizer and cleanser for your face. I'm telling you, your face will thank you later, okay? So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go edit this, drop it, and figure out what, how to do this life update for y'all. And... I will see y'all in the next vlog. I love y'all so much. Love y'all down. Shout out to my girl C again for that music for my last vlog. The last two vlogs. She ate down with that. Looking out for your girl. And I will see y'all in the next video.